What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another adventure with the Bearded Bobber. And uh, now I know you already saw this bike from the demo video, but this is a bigger picture video. This is Bearded Bobber on the hunt for a bagger. So I'm going to try to do a bunch of these rides, feel out the bagger I want. You guys know I'm really wanting to take out that Indian fixed fairing bike with the 108 motor. But right now I'm on a CVO with a 117, and this is a great motorcycle. It is definitely out of my price range, though. Now, the Street Glide is also a great uh, bike with the Special, and it comes with a 114. So it's definitely doable. <clears throat> but seeing this bike, seeing the CVO over there, you know, I'm giving Harley its due. I'm not going to rule them out because it's Harley Davidson. This is a great bike. <clears throat> so I gotta feel them out you know probably should get on a street glide that has a, a 114 instead of always riding the one with the 117 now I have done my dad's 107 ultra glide classic and that's another way I could go is with a used bike like uh oh hold on I could go with a used bike, something like uh, from the Chopper Gallery in Temecula. They always have bitchin' Harley Davidsons. Uh, they've had a couple Chieftains, you know, for a really fair price. Usually a good amount of miles on them because people rode the shit out of that bike. But my dad's gotten two bikes from them now, and so far they've been great and great to deal with. And that's also a good thing, too, is being able to be a fan of the dealer you're getting the bike from. So I love Indiana Redlands, but this is more of a, I need to hunt, I need to find the bike for me. Uh, the Chieftain's been calling my name, which there's a lot of good ones for that, you know? There's good used Chieftains. Uh, but I wanna give the Street Glide it's due, the Chieftain it's due, the Road Glide, and the Challenger, or whatever name it is. I don't know. So. This is just kind of uh, how we go. So let's skip over to the next bike. All right, so we've switched over to a new 2020 Indian Chieftain Limited. And this one's got the 116 standard. I was just on the CVO 117 for the Harley Davidson Street Glide. And um, for this being standard and not their performance bike, this thing is ridiculous. This thing is so smooth. Uh, you know, I'm gonna add into this video, since I did get to ride the 117, I'm gonna ride the 116 Chieftain with stage two cams, hopefully. I do speak of the future. Kinda hard sometimes you do that on video and you're like, sorry guys, it was, uh, I swear I wanted to. Which, hopefully that's not me, but this is giving a run for the money, man. Uh, I do like the Dark Horse more, which is kind of like the CVO where they have like stuff blacked out and switched around. But besides that performance bike, I do have a couple more bikes to ride, so we'll add as many to this, to this uh, hunt. Are we going to call it the hunt? Hunting. Bagger hunting. Hunting of the bagger. I don't know, we gotta come up with a name for it, guys. The never ending hunt. A bagger story. <laughs> uh, damn. So the brakes are really good. Brakes are real good. <laughs> Alright, guys. Let's see if I can switch over to that stage two. Okay, guys. So now we've moved on to the stage two. Uh, 116. Mm -hmm. And we're in the sport mode. Uh, the Indian bikes do have this, those modes, which I really like, because I like being able to go to standard or touring and have the bike relax. And I also like to have it in sport and go like this. <laughs> oh, damn. Let's dig in. God, these bikes feel so good in the corners. All the new baggers really do feel good in cornering, all right? Like, I don't want to... 
you know, be a total Indian fanboy, which everybody already knows that I like Indian a lot, but I like motorcycles. And this thing just feels like a, just smooth. I'd imagine, let's see if anybody gets this reference. It feels like Nimbus, you know, just flying around on a cloud. All right. All right, so we have a couple of fixed bearing bikes I think we need to check in on next. So let's go ahead and get to that, you guys. All right, guys, now you can see we are on the 2019 CBO Roguelide. And this Mako Shark paint job that they call it is absolutely gorgeous. You guys have seen, I've ridden the Challenger, I've done other stuff before this video has come out because I've been putting time behind making this video. Uh, I actually had to do a voiceover because this is a demo ride that I did at Victorville Harley Davison earlier this year. And I really had to get out and I had to ride the fixed fairing. This, this Rogue Light was the first time I had ridden a fixed fairing motorcycle uh, in the, like a bagger. And all I've heard is the fixed fairing is better than a Batwing over and over and over and over and over and over and over now and i even talk about that in this video one of the big things for me was reaching the dash and how far the dash is in front of me i still like to feel like i'm have i have a dash uh to and being completely honest with everything i'm doing i felt more weight on the roguelide nose and i don't really feel any on the challenger nose so that was an issue for me uh, it's not a huge issue. I just I noticed the weight where I didn't notice that much weight in the street glide and the chief. Then I didn't. I just didn't notice the difference. And honestly, this day when I rode both this bike and the CBO street glide, the street glide won flat out for me. Like that was the bike. Uh, if I was to pick between those two, I was going. I would pick the street glide. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the Batwing. I love the the look of it for both the Chieftain and the Street Glide. I think they're both great looking motorcycles. I like the dash on both motorcycles. Uh, there's some absolutely a lot of people think I'm against the uh, Harley Davidson and the Rogue and I'm not. I grew up on Harley Davidson. I love Harley Davidson. I've really thought about finding a used bike um, until we'll we'll get into more of that later. But to be 100% honest, the Road Glide, I think from the front profile area, looks better to me. I do like the Challenger headlight a lot. I really do. But there's the body lines. These are similar bikes, but different. Oh, that annoys me. Uh, 1967 Mustang, 1967 Camaro. Very similar pony cars, but at the same time, very different. And I feel like that's what you get with these. I'm excited to see what they do. You can't do T-bars and stuff on the Challenger, but you know that's all stuff to get into later. This was a gorgeous motorcycle. It pulled great. It handled great. Um, I, I have nothing bad to say about this Rogue Glide, unless you consider weight in the nose bad. That's about it. Um, uh, but you know what? We're going to go ahead and uh, click over to the Challenger. And then I'm going to give you some afterthoughts with that as well. So, oh, you guys. It. Yes. You can see we are now on the Challenger. Challenger in that last bike I was just talking about. And I don't know where my mic's going. It's going all over the place. Hopefully this picks up correctly. Uh, as you guys can see, though, I am on the Challenger. And uh, guys, I think... Uh, I think this is it. I think out of all the bagger wars, we waited long enough. We did our due diligence. Is that, hopefully I said that right. And I think we're coming to terms with the bike we want and the bike we need and the bike we're going to love riding all the way to Sturgis. I don't know. I think so. Not this color. We'll see. There's still got to be a like a da -da -da unveiling video of the new bagger for the beard i don't know we'll see you guys all right hope you guys enjoyed uh checking out these four bikes with me maybe i added another one <laughs> we'll see at the end all right you guys but i'm gonna get out of here i'm gonna enjoy the rest of this bike and the rest of this vip demo ride from indian thanks again indian revelins and uh stay safe stay classy guys look forward to that next part <coughs> 
da, 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 da. All right, guys. Now you've seen me sit and go through the streak light that happened to be a CVL 117. I went through the Chieftain with the brand new 116 standard motor, uh, not their big board kit, which I have ridden in the past. And then also that new 116 with stage two. Now that's one of my favorite setups is that Chieftain. Uh, I do like the dash a little bit more than the streak light, kind of CVO street, the CVO uh, background, like those, that panel of the dashes is absolutely gorgeous. I can't come to the price tag. The specials are still gorgeous. I love those bikes, you guys. Like, please don't take it any, you know, don't take it the wrong way. Uh, for the me, the cheap then rode a little bit better. I kind of I kind of broke this down. And like you had, I went to Harley and I rode both bikes because I was told the fixed variant was gonna be better. Uh, I said this a second ago that. To me, the Street Glide rode better than the Rogue Glide. That was just my personal preference. So I broke it down to that, and then I broke it down to, I broke it down to the Street Glide versus the Chieftain. Now you got to remember that this Challenger was just rumored. Didn't know when it was coming out. Didn't know much. Even though that things had been leaked, and it wasn't leaked very strong at the time that I have been wanting a bagger. I've been wanting a bagger for a while. I fell in love with the. Chieftain, which was the first bagger that I rode um, last at the end of last year. I fell in love with that bike, uh, especially the white dark horse. I love the look of it. Um, you know, it's, it's a, a gorgeous bike. Uh, and Harley had rode Roll Tide 530, had his crushed white pearl, uh, the gloss, you know, uh, Rogue Light, not Rogue Light, sorry, Street Light Special. And it was such a gorgeous bike as well. These are bikes that I was like, I've been pulled to the Batwing white bike. And, but I still had to go through and I wanted to feel out everything and go from there. So I fell in love with the Chieftain. I fell in love with that new motor that they have, the 116. Uh, they adjusted a few things on the heads, you know, made a few things better. And for good reason, it's, it's buttery smooth. Um, now I ain't having problems with the, the one for uh, the one seventeen or even the one oh seven on my dad's ultra. Uh, besides, my dad's ultra had a weird clutch. That was about it. Uh, but that was a one seventeen, and I heard it was just that one off year. Now we come to this bike, the rumored challenger, the end all be all of everything there is. Now I'm only saying this because you have one side going. You know, oh, it's the Harley killer. Then you have another side saying it's a... Uh, what is an appropriate word to use here? Uh, a dumbed-down clone? Um, or whatever, a Cyclops? Uh, uh, they couldn't even do two headlights. and there's There is so much to this on both sides of the coin that it's insane. You have people complaining that they copied Harley. Then you have people complaining that they don't have two headlights. But that's more of a copy. Like, can you guys figure out what you want and then put it on paper? Make sure it's still what you want to say years from now? Because I don't want to hear it right now. <laughs> to be completely serious, though, I love the headlight on this and I love the functionality of the turn signals. And I love that they're in the fairing. One of the things I don't like about the new Chief then is that they took the turn signals out and put them on the sides. Because, yeah, it may be a little bit more of an aggressive styling than the other Chief then. But that's not what people were going for. Now, it, it's selling more. I get that. But it's not... If you go and you see Lloyd's, they built two Chief thins. And one of them, they put the turn signals in the fairing. I heard it was very hard for them to do, but it looked fantastic. Some people complain that you don't get to do customized stuff when you do that, uh, if the company puts them in there for you. But it's cool. It's different, you know. Now, when it comes to the Challenger ones, 
Those ones, uh, they have an LED outlight, and I have a 2016 Silverado. My headlights do the same thing. They have a LED light that goes around them, and they shut that side off when the blinker's on. It brings more attention to the fact that you're turning and using your blinker. Hopefully, that helps people see you on the road. Visual stuff is very good for us, especially on motorcycles. Uh, it has LED lights all the way around. It's really a badass bike. I said a second ago that I believe the Rogue Glide has better lines. I like the look of the Rogue Glide from outside, like from standing off the bike and looking at it. That may be just because I've seen it first. Um, now, if we go back a few years, the other Rogue Glide doesn't even count. I'm not a huge fan of that one at all. Um, it just wasn't, I don't know. I think the new styling is spot on great job guys like really like that so some of the lines i like better on the road glide but i like the dash better on the challenger it you know for me it's just a, a better setup uh, if i sat and broke this bike down i could like one thing better and like something else better on the other bike and go back and forth the entire way uh, there's just a lot of little things little different things um, but riding the Challenger is what it came down to for me. I'm actually, the, see, the bike next to me right there is, was earlier in the video. That's the Stage 2 Chieftain that I rode. Love the setup. Love the apes on it. Um, love the color. You know, like, of course, I would change it, but you guys have seen my Bob Ride change that kind of stuff. I don't know. Uh, it's been very tough. The Challenger has more gas than the Chieftain. Uh, yes, the Harleys have more gas, but when it was coming down to riding and stuff like that, for me, I prefer these. Um, I haven't been able to take the, I haven't even been able to take either one of them out on a long enough ride besides the Challenger now um, to really go, okay, oh, my butt feels like this after an hour or it feels like this after an hour or two hours or three, whatever. I've heard from numerous people um certain bikes ride better they still needed a better seat on their harleys or uh, on the chief then that they wanted a better seat that was a little too soft same thing with this one but i did get to put two hours into the seat of this challenger and i did 110 miles riding around long beach i did traffic i did pch uh, i did a lot of things on this motorcycle that i got to feel uh the assistant uh, assisted clutch is new for Indian. I'm trying to find out more information about that. Don't know why it's so secretive. I'm sure there's somewhere that has a breakdown on it, and I just haven't found it yet. If you guys have found that, please link that in the comments. I would love to read it. Um, I'm going to do some more hunting now just because it's back on my mind again. But it kind of feels like a hydraulic clutch, but it's adjustable. It's, it's very intriguing. There's a lot more I want to know about it. I may have to just go to my dealer and find out one of the mechanics that have gone and have learned how to work on this bike. The new 108 is smooth. It's powerful. Um, I've never found myself wanting more power. There was never a time, even in standard, that I was like, oh, I need more power. This thing has a speed limiter. I would probably leave it on there. It Getting to speeds of that I'm not going to mention... You don't know you're there. That's a scary feeling on an 830-pound bike. You don't feel the weight, but you're sitting there cruising along at speeds that are not, uh, let's, any speed above the speed limit that may slow down your reaction time. You don't even realize that you're above that even five miles above it, however you want to take this, you're above it, and you're cruising right along, and you have no idea that you're doing that. That's not a good thing to have when all of a sudden you hit a wall of traffic and you need to brake. Yes, this has great Brembo brakes. It does want to stop very quickly, but the faster you're going, the less room you have the less chance you have of coming back home. These are things to think about 
especially when you're talking about a performance bagger. I feel like it's a, a real issue that a lot of people don't talk about. Um, some of these people building performance baggers are not doing touring on them. Some are. It's a it's a mix. I feel like this bike right now is great the way it is. Yeah, I would like a tune on it um, and exhaust. I love the way exhaust sounds, and I'd want that for my bike. A little bit better gas mileage, too. The bobber got better with a better tune. It's just one of those things that come with the game. Now, the speed limiter is a question of how you handle the bike, if you should leave it on there or not. There's all personal preference, and I am never going to be the person to tell you what to do while riding a motorcycle. I will give suggestions if you ask me. I will try to help you out as much as I can. I want to make sure everybody's good. When I say stay safe and stay classy, I mean it. I'm not, you know, but it's one of those, I'm not going to sit here and tell you what to do, and then I may be doing something. Right now, I'm not wearing my jacket, a full jacket, and some people think that's not okay. But if I wear my vest and my protective flannel, I feel great. Sometimes I feel great with just my vest. That's just how it is. It's the same thing when it comes to perf tuning your bike. You want more power? Great. Hopefully, you have thought about that stuff, and that's what comes with this bike. The modes are great. I love having those. So if you do want to have that extra throttle, sweet. Um, getting back on track of just the motorcycle before we end this video. I love the power windshield. I loved it on the Chief Thin. It needs a little bit of adjustment for each person. I'd probably change the seat, even though the seat was very comfortable on my ride. So as of right now, I'm going Challenger. You guys have probably already noticed that, figured that out by watching my other videos. I'm trying not to flood you guys with content. I said this on one of my last videos, but then again, it's probably going to be on my channel soon. Uh, well, I have a lot of ducks to line up before I can move on into the bagger life. And I don't say move on. I'm keeping the bobber. Don't worry, guys. It is not going anywhere. But I'm going to wrap this video up because it did end up being kind of long, which I kind of figured when it had this many motorcycles in it. But I want to give an honorable mention to other baggers that I did look at. The uh, Roadmaster. Very good bike. Very comfy. Uh, a little too much bike for me all, at all times. Do I want a trunk for the Chieftain or the Challenger, whichever one I end up getting? Yes. Yes, I do. But I want it on a quick release, and I want to use it for trips only. Day-to-day, -day, I'm not going to use it. Uh, if I take my kids out, then yeah, I'd love to have them have that seat more than a sissy bar. That would make me, as a papa, very happy. I like that idea of having them cupped in a little bit more than just having the sissy bar and me sandwiching them in. As a dad, it can be a little bit nerve-wracking just having that. So being able to calm down and have that big like cup for them is great. Uh, also, the Yamaha Eluder and the Kawasaki, the name is uh, evading me right now. Both great bikes. Um, definitely really looked at the Yamaha Eluder since it's at uh, Honda Yamaha Redlands, which is also part of Indian Redlands. But the seat was a little wide for me. Uh, other than that, I, I thought the bike was super cool. I know not a lot of people dig the front, but I, I think it's very aggressive. Um, very good styling. Um, I didn't even get to a chance to ride it because once it felt that wide, I didn't know if I'd be able to handle the bike correctly. And once again, you want to be safe while being on the motorcycle. You know, kind of a big deal. <laughs> There's a lot of those adventure bikes that my short ass cannot get on. So I'm not going to because I don't need to get a stepladder just to get on a motorcycle. But that's how the, uh, the cookie crumbles, I guess. So, all right, you guys, um, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, it's been, I, I love riding all these motorcycles and I hope I get to ride a lot of these motorcycles again. And hopefully we'll be able to find a bagger soon and get all those ducks lined up so we can introduce uh, the new lady to the channel. We'll get there. Uh, so thanks guys for caring enough to listen to me drone on if you've made it this long into the video. And... If you have, then you might want to know that I have a Patreon. And we're having a lot of fun over there for just a dollar. But, all right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you again, everybody, for uh, following the channel and, you know, creating a great community. So stay safe, 
and stay classy, you guys.